God, I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of this backdrop here. Just like I'm never going to get tired of drinking Gamer Fuel, Mountain Dew. <sighs> Damn, that's cold. Alright, hello everyone, this is K-On Gaming HD, and welcome to Let's Play number 16 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series. Continue right where we left off from the last video. Hope everybody's enjoying this Let's Play series along with the other Let's Play series I'm doing currently on my channel. I will be returning to Saints Row the Third Remastered sometime soon. Also, we'll be returning to Outlast sometime soon. And by the way, about Outlast, I will be bumping the difficulty up from hard. <coughs> Excuse me. I need something to drink again. Excuse me. Got something. I got something stuck in my throat there for a sec. Had to get me another drink. But anyways, next time I play Outlast, I'm going to be bumping the difficulty up from hard mode to, I believe it's called insane mode. I, I believe it's insane and then nightmare. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because my friend Shy, aka Orbital Sigma, reached out to me and told me, hey, I've noticed that the difficulty that you're playing Outlast on is kind of making the game very meh to watch. No offense, so why not bump the difficulty up just one more up to insane? Now, he also told me, if you want to play on Nightmare Mode, fine, be my guest, but he highly recommended me not to play Outlast on Nightmare Mode because he basically told me I'm not going to have a good time. But to bump it up to insane difficulty the next time I play Outlast. So the next time I play Outlast, my next Let's Play, I'm gonna bump the difficulty up to insane. And that's when shit's gonna really start getting crazy. But enough about Outlast now. I'm gonna play some Red Dead Redemption 2 because there's nothing going on in my YouTube script sheet. You can rest by holding triangle. Of course, we're not doing while resting and we'll refill slightly if they are low, okay. My horse is over here. Get on my horse. Okay, there, girl. I'm pretty sure the only thing I have to, on the map to do right now is Hosea's mission. Let me check real quick just to make sure. Zoom out. Hosea, anything else? Nope. Wait, what's this? Trap. Oh, okay. Alright, so the only thing I have left to do is Hosea's mission. Before I do that, I want to make my way back to camp. Because I did rescue Sean in my last video, so I'm pretty sure they're celebrating at camp right now. Plus, I also would like to rest at camp too to get my cores back up to 100%. Alright. There's nothing going on in my YouTube subscription feed, like I said, and it's like 4.30, actually it's 4.45 in the afternoon as I'm recording this. There's nothing going on. I'm bored, and I figured, you know what, I'll just hop on and record. This weapon is in poor condition. Alright. Well, let me get off my horse and uh, clean it. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to have to clean this. And there we go. All nice and shiny. Alright. What about my other guns? Let me look at my sawed off shotgun. Is it good? It's good. My revolver. Oh yeah, definitely need some cleaning. All right, all clean. My double barrel. How's my double barrel looking? You know what? I'm gonna clean it. All right, all nice and pretty. Alright, get back on my horse, and be on my way. And I still have these animal skins on my horse from a long while 
I go. By the way, me and my friend Shy, we ended up watching Space Jam last night for movie night. He hated it. He gave it a 0 out of 10. Called it one of the worst cartoon movies he's ever seen. I told you I was going to get you back for Ultraviolet, motherfucker. You're going to make me watch Ultraviolet? Okay. You're going to watch Space Jam. Now, I don't hate Space Jam, but I do believe it's the most overrated basketball movie of all time. I will agree that it's one of the most overrated cartoon movies of all time. But do I hate it? No. Hey, Dutch. Yep, they're celebrating Sean being back. I knew it. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy. All right, sure. We having a party? Maybe. Just a little. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crawl. Mr. McGuire, <laughs> keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them. Ah, boys, how you doing over here by the campfire? And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk elf. Well, let me see what's going on with Sean. Oh, boy. He's definitely drunk. As long as you don't turn into the reverend and wind up on the railroad track getting hit by a train. Clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> I love you too, Sean. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Welcome back to camp. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. <laughs> All right, Sean. The gang are celebrating the safe return of Sean. Will be unavailable for other activities for a while. All right. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine hey riding there. with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Hi, Sean. This stupid uncle. Can I talk to you guys? Come on. How about a song? Hey, uncle. You need much excuse. Until dawn, now. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. And I'm sure so you will. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, Ooh. Why does that need to fall over? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sure, I'll sing. <laughs> Oh, what I do say, she was mistress of her trade, who diddle diddle do all day. I'll let them sing, because I'm not really a good singer. I can't sing for shit. Upon her side, well, I do it say, all day. Okay, <laughs> I put my hand upon her ass. <laughs> oh boy. That was pretty wholesome. Alright, done singing for now. Um it's good to be back. I even missed you. You old bastard. Do 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 and of course you're drunk again. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. Okay then. If you wind up on a railroad track getting hit by a train, I'm not saving you the, that time. I'm not saying you next time. And that's all I'm saying. Ah, boys. All you mark my words. I'm gonna rest by the campfire. Excuse me. Huh. 
I'm gonna turn my headphones up just a little bit. Okay, that's better. And don't we know it? Up, oh, they're leaving. Alright, well, I'll get up and leave too. Hey, John, how you doing? You seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Huh. <laughs> Dutch is having a good time. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Yes? What do you want? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, Let's keep hello, going. I guess. And go to sleep. You wind up on a trail on a railroad track getting hit by a train. I'm not rescuing you next time. And if you go out in the woods and get attacked by a wild bear, I'm not rescuing you either. That's your own doing. Alright. I can't use this right now. Hey, Bill. He's back. As loud a mouth as ever. I like the song that's playing. Hey, Mary Beth, I can't talk to you right now. You know what? Sure. I'm not much of a dancer in real life either. I got to admit, I love these parts of the games where you just kick back, relax, have a good time. It reminds me of the times in high school where, you know, outside of the classwork and putting up with shitty teachers and shitty schoolwork and stuff and just bullshit every now and again. There were the times in high school where, you know, I got to sit down, talk with my friends, hang out with them, okay. just have a good time. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I miss those days, and unfortunately, they're never going to come back. Well, thank you. To be honest with you, the only one I really ever talk to nowadays is my mom, my sister every now and again when she comes around, and my friend Shy, and Shy's friend Senna. Those are the really the only people I talk to. Outside of that, I don't really talk to anybody else. Why am I going near my freaking horse? I'm not going out riding just yet. I do want to stock up on stuff if it's here. So let me check, see if I have stuff in stock for me to get. <laughs> Anything? Go first person. Eh, nope. Nothing. Nada. Throwing knives? I'll take those. That's something. What about the medicine wagon? Alright, I'll start singing again. Split in two. That's 
Cleveland, Chicago. I love how they're just talking. Oh, well, not talking. I love how they're just singing songs about sex. <sighs> yep, those songs still existed even in 1899. <laughs> the damn. That's what you call the ring dang do. <laughs> All right. Your dirty man. Yes. Any other songs, or is that it? Nope, that's it. <laughs> These two went to sleep. I'll leave you two alone. I'm not going to bother you. I am going to take this stuff if I can. Take the gin. Take the more gin. Can't take that. I'm gonna take the snake oil. And that's all I could take. Mm-hmm. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down the Hell, even all them strokes is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I I I'm sorry, Art, I I didn't it's fine. Because I care. You know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. All right. Just don't end up like the Reverend now. Don't go wandering out into the freaking woods getting attacked by a bear or something. Or wandering out on a railroad track getting hit by a train. I'm going to leave Abigail alone. She's sleeping. Uh, take the stew bolt. The attention to detail in this game, by the way, is some of the most frightening attention to detail I have ever seen in a video game in my entire life. That is frightening attention, attention to detail. I've already read that before. Lenny! What is it, Arthur? Just wanted to say hi. Alright. I'm gonna go rest up now. I've heard that song before, the song that's playing in the background. I've heard that in Grand Theft Auto 3. That's nice. So they brought the song from Grand Theft Auto 3 into this game too. Alright, first bank robbery, newspaper scrap. April 15th, 1887. Raised bank robbery. Three men saw it. Mayor, okay, I believe I've read this before. If I haven't, you guys can pause it and read it for yourself. I'm pretty sure I've read this before though. Sorry if the bottom half is being cut off by what they're saying. Dutch and Arthur. 
How's my flower doing? Alright. Flower's doing good. Alright. I'm going to sleep. Alright, uh... I'll sleep till morning. How I just woke up and they just woke up too. Perfect timing. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. Mm -hmm. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. I go back in that area, I'm gonna have lawmen all over my ass. Like Dutch said, it's best if we just stay away. <laughs> stay away for now. Hello. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party then? Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right. Actually. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Huh. <laughs> we'll see about that. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right. All right. Sorry, uh, got nothing for you right crafting now. Up right. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right. Okay. Leave it with or me. just leather working tools at the ledger. All right. How much money Appreciate do I have? Pearson. Uh, let me go see how much it is, Pearson. Oh, God. Oh, some Not now. Like the waves of the bay of the biscuit. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. I began to Glad to have your friend back. Uh, it's not really my friend. Go back to oh, sleep, yeah. Reverend. Alright, let me look at the ledger here. How much is this going to cost? If it's too much, Mr. Pearson, you're going to have to wait. $225. Nope, I do not have the money for that right now. Sorry, Mr. Pearson, you're going to have to wait. But, I'm going to be nice and donate some stuff to you anyways. Just to be nice. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Now here you go. And here you go. If only it was in better condition. Let's I'm gonna keep the herbivore vape. I'm gonna keep this stuff too. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. This This is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. I wouldn't say the whole world. I wouldn't exactly say the whole world, though, Dutch. Even in 1899, there's going to be people, many people, many places on Earth that aren't such a happy place, unfortunately. Still nothing. Alright. That should be good, nonetheless. Question mark. What's this about? What you been oh, to, hello. You look odd. You want to talk? Sure. I don't know. I just don't feel myself. I'll go first person. You've been out a lot. Sure. Nope, I can't go Anything first person. 
I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well. Well, I won't be killing animals for the hell of it once I get the uh, crafting tools. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Alright. Thanks for talking to me, though. How you boys doing over here? Oh, Driscoll boy. Oh, hell, if I don't feel just dreadful. Alright. What about you, Bill? Bad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Javier. <laughs> I heard it got bloody down there. Oh, yeah. It worked out, I guess. Big shootout. But luckily, we survived. You know what? I'll pick up one of these sacks. Help out around camp. Get my respect up. I just love how beautiful this game looks. You ought to get someone to help you carry all that. Ah, uh, if anybody be nice enough to help me out, sure. I'm fine. Good work, Mr. Morgan. You're welcome. All right. Put down the sack. Very good. Very good. All right. My respect went up. Nice. Ooh. Coffee. I'll pour me a cup of coffee. Mister. All right. We'll put that away. All right. Go hunting with Charles. You know what? Sure. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Ooh, bison, bison hunting. You can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? Sure. I'm sure, I hunt one. sure. Why not? We're going bison hunting, boys. Let's go. Sorry, Hosea, you're gonna have to wait for now. <laughs> I really need to change my clothes. It was before my time, of course, but I'll do it another time. My used to tell me stories of how a tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was hmm. a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much in my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. All right. God, this game is pretty. I wish I was playing this on a PS5. Or, at the very least, a PlayStation 4 Pro. Upload it in 1080p. 720p, 30fps does not do this game justice. I see them. We should only kill one of them. Alright. Keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. <laughs> Excuse okay. me. Clean as you can. Okay. Alright. Yeah. All right. All right. Skin and butcher it. 
take the horns too. All right. That's a big ass bison. Just bison or buffalo, whichever one people want to call them. Good job. Compodium updated. American bison. All right, let me check this out. The American bison is native to the plains of New Hanover and West Elizabeth. As a herbivore, it grazes on grains, hay, and corn. Due to the size of an average bison, high power weapons like a Kirkano rifle or a bow with improved arrows should also be considered when hunting. Prime beef can be used for cooking. Alright, well, I didn't use a rifle on it, but I did use a sawed off shotgun and a revolver. Good enough. Alright. And stove. Come on. Glad I donated those animal skins to Pearson now, I'm otherwise I probably wouldn't have had enough room. Just wanted to see what attracted him. Alright. <laughs> My friend Shy is gonna be making me watch Ricky O, the story of Ricky tonight. I don't know if I said that earlier, but well, if I didn't say it earlier, I said it now. Ah, shit. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right. Poor Bison. I'm interested in watching Rikio because I've never seen it. Yes, I know it's pretty freaking old, but still, I've never seen Rikio until tonight. No, they've been shot. Unless Shy is busy with something. Anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. As for me, after movie night tonight, I'll probably record some more Outlast. Another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. All right. I just saw that spawn in. I just literally saw it spawn in. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Alright. Abandoned campsite. I'm gonna go first person here. I believe that's a sawmill over there, that building right there. Ooh. You find anything, Arthur? Alright. else not mean to knock that stuff over yes that's it all right back on my horse gone cold yet. maybe half a day since they left bison's been dead about the same amount of time so what do you want to do they could still be in the area let's get up higher see if we spot anything all right This way. We should have a good view from up here. Alright. Okay. You see anything? Campfire way off smoke. in the distance. Beach. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Killing for fun. Mm -hmm. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. <laughs> Look, more dead bison. All right. Come on, wait up. Damn, poor bison.
Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Excuse me? Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Uh oh. <gasps> Damn. Business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I'll have whipped wh wh my gun I'm out. A family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Interrogate. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Kill him. Hi, right, fine. I've heard enough. Pretty sure my honor is gonna go down for that. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. All right. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Hello. Herbivore bait. All right. I'm gonna take the gun oil. Take the rifle cartridges. Definitely could use these. Thing here. Ooh. Ah, I can't take that. Gonna take that. Can't take that. What you got in the loot box? Poison throwing knife pamphlet. Gonna take that. Close this. Inspect the document. Alright. In close combat altercations with wildlife, the hunter could often become the hunted if an animal was not dispatched quickly. Throwing a knife at an animal works. However, it may result in the loss of a very good knife if the animal flees while it remains buried in their hide. This recipe will help drop an animal in a matter of seconds. The frontiersman requirements. Throw a knife. Oleander sage plant. How to prepare. 1. Take a throwing knife and carefully rub an oleander sage plant along the blade. Store in the satchel. Outdoorsman tip. If no water can be found for days, do not substitute drinking liquor, salt water, urine, or blood as they bring on delirium. Everybody always says that if you're stranded in the middle of nowhere and you have nothing to drink, to drink your piss. That's not a good idea. I mean, I get it if you have no choice, but it's really not a good idea. Don't do it. Unless you... Un unless you literally have nothing to drink and you have no choice. I don't recommend doing that. All right. Well, Good. get back on my horse, and I'm on my way to Hosea now. Yep. Since I'm in that direction anyway. I gotta admit, as creepy as it can sound at times, I do like this eerie music that plays. Yeah. Kind of gives off that eerie type of somber tone in a way. I don't know what the hell I'd be doing if I lived in 1899. Hell, I probably wouldn't even be al I would probably wouldn't even be alive. I'd probably be freaking dead. Let me check here real quick. Hello, 
hello, gentlemen. Partner. Sir. Hello. Welcome back. Uh. Nah, actually, pay my bounty. I don't even want to know where that money came from. I don't have enough to pay off the West Elizabeth bounty. Never mind. Thanks, partner. Okay, my girl. All right, be on my way again. Yeah. Gonna follow the railroad track. Alright, I'm here anyways. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. Hi, Odea. I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our Spines of America. No such thing. Perspective, new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not... Idiots, let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's a oh boy. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance. If this is what I think he it is. I remember this mission. Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Now, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also All some right. money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Let's go rob his cousin by marriage. All right, time to do this mission again. Really? Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. All right. Hey. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call. Well, I just got done hunting some bison and taking care of two guys who were killing bison for for fun. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. True. Yes, you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Tapping X in time with your horse's gallop will stop us. Stamina from draining. Alright. How are you feeling, are you about, feeling things? about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Huh. <laughs> Alright. I can't ask him about Emerald Ranch now? 
Oh well. Well, we're here anyways. That must be the place up ahead. Excuse we should go me. on foot from here. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. I'm gonna get down. Can I sneak? No. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Alright. Oh dear. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Uh, you know what? Let's do it right now. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. All right. Until I have them distracted outside, then sneak in. Okay. The I'm gonna wait here. It was all right to move. Hi. Young man. Very well, very well. <laughs> is your father home, sir? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you oh, the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh Junior, what's your uh, name, sir? Oh, dear. Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. Uh, my name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. Huh. I once performed on Broadway. Alright, whatever you say, Hosea. I have been saved! I have been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You Go think first I'm a person. You think I'm a nut bomb prop of a bird? I'm interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. <laughs> Respects them as has it, but Take I got that. something better. Way better than church. Why is it you? Spinal alignment. Anything in here? Just a bit. Yeah. 
Let's grab this stage Let's get the hell out of here. here. I thought I closed all the dressers. I could have sworn I closed all the dressers. Oh well. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the, the story of how you almost got killed by a thousand pound bear. And as usual, he did not flinch. That I ended up killing, by the way. So how long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Go a little faster. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Hmm. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. Right. Well, here's something strange. What? James was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Uh, full of never mind. I was actually wanting to hear what you were going to say there. But never mind, I guess. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Well, I didn't Fine. meet them. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. All okay. right. Nice uh, work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. All right. Like discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading Goodbye. back to camp. I think you coming. Yeah. Sure. Alright. On my way back to camp. I love these cinematic cutscenes. I've been recording for almost an hour here. Probably gonna call it a day on this Let's Play video soon. Alright. 
hundred dollars. All right. Mission complete. The spines of America. You now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. I saw that. Bitches are buying stolen fences. Seamus runs a fence. Visit the fence to sell valuables, buy illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. All right. Hi, Lenny. How you doing? Good brother. How are you? Not gonna play Five Finger yeah, Fillet right now. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. Mm -hmm. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I. I messed up in Blackwater. Hmm. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Hey. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So mm -hmm. what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are going to be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Where? Where are we going to get lost at? Hey, Arthur. Yeah? Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes. And we can always make more money. True. We'll be okay. Alright. Hello, Dilly. I'm gonna change my clothing. Alright. Average temperatures, hot temperatures. I'm going to equip that. I'm going to keep that on my horse. Just went over an hour. Oh, yeah. Hey, Uncle. Partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> I don't think she thought that when she sobered up. All right. Hello. You good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. All right. Well, I think this is going to be a good stopping point here for this video. I just went over an hour anyway, so I'm doing a little itty bitty editing. 
that's going to do it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next Let's Play video here on k -On Gaming HD. As always, this is k -On Gaming HD signing out. Have a good one.